Yesterday we told you about two human cases of West Nile in Massachusetts, and now we're hearing from a man who survived the virus after spending more than a year on a ventilator. As WBC's Mike Sullivan shows us, his experience could help doctors change how they view everything from thinking to learning. I'm going to stand up. It may seem like a small step getting up and down 10 times. It's not so simple for Charlie Atkinson. And it makes sure that my legs don't atrophy. If you can believe it, he was once paralyzed. And I sleep better when I do these exercises. 11 years ago, he threw a party at his home in Cambridge. And a mosquito got me. A week later, he fell ill. And where I was in a coma for a couple of weeks. And when, when I woke up, they diagnosed it as West Nile virus from the CDC. He was paralyzed and on a respirator for 400 days. Several times, he almost died. It turned out that I had long-term chronic West Nile virus. You're getting up, you're moving around, you're no longer paralyzed. How did you get from that point to now? Our PT person saw that I was responding and showing a little progress. From there, he went to boot camp. He began using himself as a test subject, working on ways to better the training process and to better the mind. Realize the lifestyle skills of exercise and being thin and all were the only thing that would save me. He tracks his progress on an app, walking a tenth of a mile a day in his home. But I come in here. In the decades prior to the incident, he had been researching the brain and teaching methods. Now he's using his experience to reshape the process. And my brain was fried, my mind was still functioning. While he sat there immobile, he invented a new theory, remapping the human brain. The brain's structure is like a cube. There are different layers from top to bottom and side to side, equating to different aspects of thought or function. The breakthrough was realizing it was back to front. Now he and a team of researchers are working to pair his structure theory with AI to revolutionize how we teach. And build a, a universal repository of learning that will, that will store all the curricula in the world so there will be a Wikipedia, not just for information, but the world can help create and use and make learning accessible. A lot to come from a mosquito bite. In Cambridge, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Wow, that is someone with a giant brain. Yeah. So glad he's and, doing well. And dauntless, that never giving up on it. Yeah. Wow, great Incredible. story.